All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I want to talk about today is mainly for men. 81% of my audience is men. So, you know, I'm sorry a lot of times. And I do know I have a lot of women out there that are uh, my audience, especially, I'm going to give a shout out here, Joanne Huth, my cousin, from what I understand, every morning listens to my podcast. I really appreciate that. I love your comments. Uh, I love your guts for that. You're one of the funniest women I've ever met in my life. And when I do these podcasts, I think about you all the time. But this has nothing to do with you. (laughs) But anyways, I appreciate that. But what I'm going to talk about today is men being surrounded by the wrong type of women. You know, I'm I don't know if you know anything about me. I help men master their self-confidence. I also have a program called... uh, Mastering Self-Confidence, the blueprint on how to find the woman of your dreams, even if you've been through a bad breakup or divorce. And I I also wrote a book called Wingman, but it's basically a guide to try to find the woman or women of your dreams. And I'm always talking about putting yourself at the right place at the right time to meet the right women. Also understanding, figure out what type of women are you interested in at this point in time. Right, A lot of men don't think about this. They kind of like whoever likes them or they just go to their local bar, their local gym, their local coffee house uh, and try to see if they can kind of figure out or see if there's women there that could be interested in them or that they're interested in. But the truth is you can you know, really boost your numbers. I'll tell you something that happened with my me and my girlfriend this week. I have one of my clients came to town and he loves line dancing. And what's interesting, he said, Rich, I want to go to this bar. And what's funny is I used to collect money at this bar for like 20 years, 25 years, a big country western bar in Florida. So I said, yeah, I'll meet you there. I even know the owner. I used to even go to real estate school with the owner. He wasn't there. His son was. But I went there and there was, I'm not exaggerating, there had to be 10 women for every dude there. It was ladies night and it was hysterical to be back in that environment. I haven't been there in a long time. And we used to actually have our banquets there. But to make a long story short, he, one of my clients loves country dancing and he had a lot of women there. Like to, you know, and he, you know, what's funny is, and this is what made me come up with this, he loves line dancing, but it didn't seem like any of the women there were his type of women. He seems to like Asian women. Okay, I'm just using that. And my girlfriend's Asian, which is kind of funny in itself. So I noticed he really was just into line dancing. He didn't seem to be involved with or interested in a lot of women there. Of course, if they want to give him attention. And he knew there was a lot of women there. And then I met with him the next day and he's talking about, you know, I I really want to be, you know, around, you know, I'm interested in Asian women or I'm interested in somebody maybe, you know, it could be Japanese, Chinese, whatever, Filipino, whatever. And I'm thinking... And again, this is not, of course, he likes line dancing. So I'm not saying he's going there to meet women. But my, what I told him is if you're interested in those group of people, why don't we up the numbers and go to places that have those type of women? Not just one or two, say, at a gym, say, in Florida, or, or a few here or there. I told him we have a little place called Little Vietnamese where there's a lot of Vietnamese women and Japanese and Korean women. There's also areas that, like anywhere else, have a lot more of those type of women. Put yourself in those positions to be around a lot more of those women. If you like Latino women, hang out in Latino bars. I'm just saying, if you like black women, you know, go to bars that have, you know, a lot more black women. I get we're all blended and mixed. There's no question about that. But just like anything else, if you're looking for an Italian guy, hypothetically, I'll just use, go hang out in Italian, you know, neighborhoods, right? It makes sense. If you if you, like, Chinese women go to Chinatown. I mean, I'm just saying, and if you're in a state or a city that doesn't have that, you got to kind of put a little more effort into it. All right. And that could go for fitness too. If you like women that work out, but you like, you know, it could be yoga girls. It could be women that you like that run, whatever. Again, put yourself in those positions. But I see so many guys kind of putting themselves in a position around the women that they're not attracted to or really not that interested in Or just kind of looking, they're kind of looking for a needle in the haystack. Why would you do that? I don't get it. So what this podcast is really kind of for my dudes out there, listen, guys, you may be even around a lot of women, okay? You may be going to, let's just say a nightclub, okay? It may be bars local. 
It may be uh, whatever the hell you're doing in certain locations. On the apps too, maybe you gotta be a little more specific on what you're looking for. It doesn't mean you're racist. I got a newsflash for you. That has nothing to do with it. I was goofing around with my girlfriend, Rhea, and I says, hey, you know, uh, with races where I says, oh, you date a white guy. I wonder what they think of you. But it's kind of a joke because a lot of Asians date whites, right? And a lot of white dudes date Asians, right? I'm just saying it's kind of funny um, that you could, you know, we have all these different types and things in that nature. But again, when I met my girlfriend, I, I was very open-minded. I never thought I'd end up with a Filipino. But if you are somebody, again, out there and you're looking for you know, you have a certain taste at this point in time and it may change or you're just interested in a certain type of woman. And again, it could be as a dancer. It could be whatever the hell it is. Go to the places where they're at doing, you know, what you like to do or what they're doing that you like to do. Stop surrounding yourself around a lot of women that have really, that aren't, you know, that aren't interesting to you. It's that simple. Stop hanging around the wrong type of women. That doesn't mean they're bad women. Doesn't mean they're not beautiful. Doesn't mean they're not great for everyone else. They're just maybe not great for you. I'm going to wrap it up there. If you've got any questions or comments, you can hit me up. I'm at masteringselfconfidence.com. I'm at richcholenza.com. All right, take care.